In this video, I will be showing you the most basic movement tech and mechanics you can learn and take your speedrunning to a next level. I will go over each classic Tomb Raider and this video I will be covering Tomb Raider 1. The fastest way to move is doing running jumps instead of normal running. What's the purpose of throwing guns? First thing is, you get maximum turning speed instantly when you have fully equipped guns. Secondly, drawing guns will prevent any camera hint shown by the game. This can also be done by pressing look, but drawing guns is faster. There's one thing to avoid, and it's to draw guns instantly after using a key. It will bug out the door. To fix this, you only have to go to the tile in front of the keyhole and put guns away. Door will now be open. Stumble cancelling. In Tomb Raider 1, there are a few ways of doing it. First is pressing a grab before Lara touches ground or she's about to go free fall. It all depends on the height for your jump. Bigger the drop, later you need to grab. Second way is to land onto an edge of the step, only need to be one click high. When you land you can press roll and she roll off the edge and you can keep running. And the last, there are some cases you can use ceiling to cancel stumbles. If the ceiling is low enough and you hit it early on the jump, you will not get stumble when you land. Let's take a look at climbing up platforms. You should always be looking if you can jump up to it instead of climbing up. Climbing animations are really slow and will add up to a significant time loss in a full run. Grabbing late. In Tomb Raider 1 and 2, the later you grab, you can reach distances you would not get without grabbing. This is how you can extend your jump by a little bit. Distance will depend on how early or late you grab. Good reference point is when Lars' hands are at her shoulder level, because when they go past it, she will go to a free fall and will not grab. Rolling versus turning. Using a roll to turn around is slower, hence why you want to turn normally after levers and in situations similar to shown in video. You can do normal turn or hop back with turn depending on the sequence. Sometimes roll might make some sequence more comfortable though, but keep in mind it will be most of the time slower. Last thing is slightly advanced tech, but also very useful. When Lara lands a jump with a hard stumble, she has a small landing animation. You can turn while she's having that animation, if you time your inputs correctly. Key for this trick is to press up and left or right for a short period of time after she has landed. If you do this too early, she won't stop off a jump and just keeps going forward. Too late and you start moving which we don't want. This is a trick which takes quite a bit of practice to get used to. It's all about timing, but once you get used to it, it will save time and make some sequences smoother.